Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make maple bacon cupcakes. So everything you see on my counter is what we're going to use to make these cupcakes. We're basically making the cupcake part from scratch. We're going to use a container of cream cheese frosting, which we're going to add some flavoring to, to actually make the topping for this. And then, you know, we have our bacon here, which is actually going to be on top of this. And some of it's going to go on the inside. So this is really what you need to make this with. It's not hard. So we're going to get started at first with our bacon, which we're going to work our way through with that. You need about seven pieces of this. Um, six of them basically are going to be the parts that go on top of the end result for the cupcake. And then the other piece is going to be the chopped up part that's going to go inside the batter. So take this, lay them lengthwise, cut across the center, and then save two of those little pieces because we're going to cut that up really small for the part that's going to go into the batter. So we just want basically little pieces of bacon and we're going to cook these up in a minute just to actually get them totally cooked through so they can add to the batter. So once you get that cut up, we're gonna start with a decently large pan. We're gonna have this on medium high heat and we're gonna stretch the bacon out into the pan and we're gonna cook this until it's really crispy because we want it that way to be on top of these. But we're gonna actually add some brown sugar and maple to this, which is gonna give it a sweet flavor, which is gonna to add to the cupcake. So just put these in your pan as best you can. Don't overlap a lot, just have a little bit if you have to. And we're gonna cook these because they are gonna shrink when they cook. So this is going to be like seven to 10 minutes of cooking time on this, but you can turn these back and forth, like flipping them as we go, just to make sure that both sides cook completely. And once they are completely cooked, that's when we're going to bring in the extra stuff on top, like the brown sugar and the maple syrup. So go ahead and just flip these as you go. I would turn them every couple of minutes just to make sure they don't burn on one side. And then once they're totally cooked, we're going to add the topping. So when they get to a point where they're starting to get crispy around the edges, that's where we want to be. And that's usually going to be about like eight or nine minutes in. Then we're going to actually add to this. So we're going to reserve about a tablespoon of this grease from the pan, put it to the side because that's actually going to get used later. And then once that's done, we're going to bring in our brown sugar and we're going to actually put a little bit over top of these, just a sprinkle, a pinch over each one of them. So they're going to get a little bit of a sweetness out of that. So make sure that you flip them and then get ready to put on your brown sugar. And once you get your brown sugar over top of each one of these, then we're going to bring in the maple syrup. Now with the maple syrup, we're going to use about like maybe three tablespoons and you're basically just drizzling this over the top because we're trying to give it a flavor. So once you get the brown sugar on completely, bring in your maple syrup. And then once we're going to put this on top of here, by the time you get done with this, you're only going to cook this like about a minute or so. We just want it to be heated up to where that maple syrup is going to cook in a little bit. And then we're going to move this to the side onto a plate and let it sit until we're ready to use it. Now, mind you, once these are out of your pan, we're still going to use the pan again because we're going to take this and put on those little bits that we had cut up earlier and cook them. And as you can see, I have mine going in. And yeah, there's going to be a little bit of the maple syrup and the brown sugar already in there with the grease that's in the pan. And that's just going to flavor this a little bit. So we want to cook these up and get them going. And just make sure that along the way, right about this point, you preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Now, what we're going to do here is in a large bowl, we're going to have three tablespoons of melted butter, two thirds of a cup of maple syrup. We're going to add one large egg. And then we're going to whisk this a little bit to get it mixed up before we move on. And once this is totally mixed up, we're going to add that tablespoon of bacon grease to this. And then we're going to whisk it through a little bit more just to make sure that it totally mixes up. Then after this, we're going to add in the bacon pieces that we cooked. So go ahead and add them in, make sure that they break up because sometimes the maple will make them stick together. So just break them up as best you can. And then once they're in, we're going to whisk it a little bit more. Then we're going to add one cup of all purpose flour and then a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're going to mix this with a mixer just to make sure everything is totally incorporated before we add in our milk. So go ahead and move this around through here. Just give it a good minute or so when you're going through this, just to make sure everything really gets incorporated. And then after that, you're going to need a half a cup of whole milk. So just go ahead and get this really mixed up. 
then put in your milk and then continue to mix until everything is thoroughly mixed together. Now that bacon in there is going to start throwing all over the place, but that's okay because if it breaks up a little bit, it's perfectly fine. And once your milk is in, we just want to make sure this is all mixed up before we get ready to put this into our baking tin. Now put some liners in and just scoop this in as much as you need to, until you fill each one of them up. Now I'm using six large ones. You can use the whole bigger set of like 10 of the smaller regular size cupcakes and just go ahead and load these up. And we're gonna put these in the oven and they're gonna cook anywhere from like maybe 19 to 20 minutes. And you wanna check them along the way to make sure how they're doing. And then when they come out, we're gonna to wanna to set them to the side and let them cool before we even move on with mixing the icing up that goes on top. Because we don't wanna put it on while they're hot because it will melt right off of it. So go ahead and make sure you get everything you can into these, just divvy it up as best you can. And then pop these into the oven. Now, we're going to take our cream cheese icing, put it into something that we can mix it into, and just make sure you get everything out of that container, no need to waste any. And the best thing about this is you can actually use quite a lot of this as far as like, you know, when you're putting these on top of your cupcakes, like I'm doing six of them, I'm going to load it on top. If you have 10 of them, you know, it's still going to stretch, it's going to be fine for that. And then once we get that inside of our mixing bowl, we're going to add at least a tablespoon of brown sugar. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of maple syrup to it and we're going to mix it all together and that's going to actually make the icing taste more maple more sugary as for what we want so here's our brown sugar which i said was one tablespoon and then for as far as the um, maple is concerned use about a tablespoon you don't want to add a lot to this because it'll make your icing go really runny and we don't want it to be totally runny so just go ahead and mix in about a tablespoon of it and then stir it up, mix it up however you have to do to get it completely incorporated. Um, the best thing about this is you really can't mess this up as long as you actually keep the proportions that I was saying to do with it. Um, and just mix it through and keep going until everything is incorporated. And these are our cupcakes. They are back from the oven and they are cooling at this point. So we're basically going to let them do their thing. I give them about at least 20 minutes or so to cool down before you do anything. And then afterward, you can use like a piping bag or whatever to put the icing on top. Mine was broken, so I couldn't use it, but I actually used a Ziploc baggie, uh, put the icing inside of it, cut the corner off a little bit, and actually squeezed it on that way, and believe it or not, it worked. So it's just one of those things, you know, you have to improvise at times. And just like if you get yours in a plastic baggie, just do what I'm doing, just squeeze it through and go around a few times until you actually put a pile of this on top and work your way through all your cupcakes. And then after this, we get to put on the bacon. So just make sure you have plenty of icing on top of each one of them and then bring your bacon in. And with mine being that I had six cupcakes, I have basically like two pieces of bacon on top of each one. Um, if you were doing the 10 lot of cupcakes, then you basically could break these up into however you need to use them and you'll have plenty any way you're doing it. But the best thing is you get this really sweet bacon on top of this really great icing and on top of a really wonderful cupcake and you just got something really wonderful to work with it's just something you don't know what you're getting until you actually taste this and it has such an amazing taste it's just one of those things you got to try it to believe how good it is so once you get all of this on top of here you're ready to go now if you're not going to serve these immediately i would put them in the refrigerator for a minute just to make sure they don't go bad but this is what mine look like and they had the best taste and i think you just might like these I hope you liked this video and if you did please like and subscribe and if you get a chance check out the Southern Mountain Kitchen website where you can get a free recipe check out the cookbooks available from the Southern Mountain Kitchen and if you'd like to you could order a cookbook at a discounted price cheaper than Amazon with shipping that is also cheaper than Amazon so if you get a chance check it out and I hope you have a great day